What's going on guys? Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's quick video, I promise it's going to be a quick one, I'm going to show you guys exactly the technique that I use to get my hair to clump. This works for wavy uh, to curly hair. It is really simple and I clump my hair without using a ton of products and without using a brush. I do it in the shower. So this might be a little bit different than some of the videos that you've seen. Again, it's super simple and it has been working for me like solid uh, for a long time. Yeah. This video does not need a big intro and it's not going to be a long video, um, but I just have to say before I get started, I am having a good hair day today. Um, this is exactly the way I like my hair to look. It is not perfect. Um, I don't have like precision definition, but I have a little bit of volume. My hair looks shiny, it looks healthy. I think it looks awesome. Um, I can't wait to pick my son up from school because then all the other parents are going to see me and they're going to think, oh my god. So step one, I guess, is just to either wash and condition your hair or conditioner wash your hair. So whether you're going to wash your hair with shampoo and then condition it or you're just going to wet and restyle your hair with conditioner or wash your hair with conditioner or whatever you're going to do, all of that is the exact same. So don't change anything about the way you are already cleansing and conditioning your hair. The clumping step happens when you rinse the conditioner out of your hair. So I can put the conditioner in my hair and I rake my fingertips through my hair and that's important to detangle your hair. Um, and I actually, after that, I scrunch the conditioner into my hair. You will have a lot of people on YouTube saying that there's no, basically there's no scientific theory or evidence that back up, you know, scrunching conditioner up into your hair. Uh, they say it's not going to make your hair any curlier or really make a difference. But I've always done that and I find it really works for me. So I will continue to do that. I just scrunch the conditioner into my hair. And then when I go to rinse my hair, um, I place my hair strategically in front of my face so that I don't have to tip my head all the way upside down. And I let the water run gently over my hair and use my fingertips to create the clumps. So once the clumps are formed, um, I am left with my head kind of tipped forward and water running and dripping from my hair. So then what I do is I take the palms of my hands in the shower and I kind of squeeze a little bit of the water out of my hair so that I don't dilute my gel too, too much. And then I keep my head in this position and I use my gel and using the praying hands technique, I smooth that gel down over the curl clumps, not disturbing the curl clumps, but just smoothing the gel over them um, in the shape that they kind of fell in after the water ran through my hair. And then I will take some more gel on my hands and I'll kind of put some at the back of my hair and the top of my head, just in case I missed it. Once I have all of the clumps um, with the gel smoothed over them, I cup the clumps in my hands and I squeeze them up towards my roots and what this does is it helps mix the water and the gel together and I get some product uh, distributed right at the top section of my hair. Um, and this works really, really well for me. When I get out of the shower, I sort of repeat that in order to begin the drying process. So I will take um, just a regular cotton t-shirt or a microfiber towel and I will scoop my clumps up and squeeze the excess water out of them. Now when I'm going through the diffusing process, I do hover the hair dryer. So I'm not like raking my fingers through my hair or anything like that. As my hair starts to dry, my clumps naturally start to separate. So for example, I did not rake my fingers through my hair at all for this style. And if you look at my hair when it's wet versus my hair now, you notice that there's a lot more smaller groups of clumps um, than there were when I styled my hair. And that is just because my hair is going to curl in the direction that it naturally curls or wave in the natural direction that it wants to wave when it's dry. So even without breaking them up myself, my clumps kind of split up a little bit and form clumps with all of the hairs that are in the exact same pattern um, that they are in. So that is exactly how I style my hair. When I'm diffusing it, I am somebody who... You know, I do touch my hair a little bit when I'm diffusing it, so even when it's dry, it, they're not in the perfect clumps. Um, I also don't use enough gel that you're getting a cast, but 
if you are somebody who really has a lot of frizz and you like to use the gel cast technique, then when your hair is dry like this, it's very likely you have more product in it and it's a little bit hard and crispy and you can just take the microfiber towel again um, and scrunch some of that cast out of your hair and that's gonna work as well. The only place that I kind of rough up my hair a little bit is I will take my fingertips and my roots and do this a little tiny bit or I will part the back of my hair in the opposite direction of my fringe just to like give me, oh that's too much, but just to give me a little bit more height up here and a little bit more volume. Um, and then the only part of my hair that I really manipulate as it's styling or after it's styled is this fringe area of my hair. And you guys ask me about this all the time. How do I get this part of my hair um, to clump the way it does? And it's kind of hard to show on camera because I'm constantly, constantly twisting it around my finger, the whole thing. Um, and then when my hair is fully dry, I separate it a little tiny bit. And full disclosure, um, I would say like a week ago I was styling my hair and I wasn't twisting this part of my hair around my finger constantly to get this kind of like juicy looking clump in the front. And I clipped my hair up to create some volume and what happened was I pulled these pieces kind of straight and they dried like really horribly. So I went through my whole styling process, my hair looked awesome that day, and then this part of my hair looked awful. Um, and it just kind of ruined the rest of my hair, the whole look of the, the rest of my hair. So you kind of have two options there. You can pin it back and hide it, or I should say three options. You can pin it back and hide it. You could like spray it with a spray bottle or re-wet it with water. You can twist it up and pin it with a bobby pin and blow dry it so you, that you get like a little pin curl. Um, or you can do what I did, which is I have a really old, crappy styling wand. Um, and I just heated it up a little bit and I just wrapped that one section around the wand uh, to give me a little bit of definition in the front. And uh, I don't mind doing that at all, as long as I'm not doing it all the time and I'm not um, creating like a routine where I'm constantly heat damaging my hair, then I will do that in a pinch if I'm in a rush and the front of my hair looks bad. But really what I do to get that definition is I'm always, as my hair is drying, wrapping this section around my finger and then when it's dried, I split it up a little bit. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was a little bit helpful. The only reason I never made a video about curl clumping or anything like that before is because I feel like some of the things that I do are so simple that they're almost not worth making a video about. Um, and when I went on YouTube and looked up other things that people were doing to clump their hair, I mean, they just had different tools and were using like a ver an array of different products and I felt like this would be a little bit boring, but I think that some of you benefit from me just being honest and telling you guys that I don't really try a whole lot of new products and I try to do things um, as simply as possible. So if you liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, um, don't feel bad. It's your opinion. You can give me a big old thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.